guys, it's Airman down there, and yes, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a latte frappe or anything like that. So guys, let's get started. So first what we need to do is we want to need a whisker or a wand or whatever you want to call it, an ice cube, an ice cube tray, Nest Cafe Classic, a glass a glass cup and two lots of straws. So first you'll need to put two teaspoons of Nescafe Classic. You're not allowed to put the original coffee granules for the frappe, otherwise it will taste yucky and horrible. Once you've done, just add a little bit of cold water inside the glass. Next, you'll want to put some ice cubes inside the cup to make it nice and cold. You might want to bash on the bash it on the kitchen worktop to get it to get it out of a slot. Make sure you add plenty of water inside the slot and put it in the freezer to turn the water into ice. Now you are ready to set the wand up and whisk up the cup to make it nice and frothy. Make sure you have plenty of cream for you to enjoy. When you've done, you'll want to top it up with some more cold water. Make sure you add plenty of milk to make it stand out. And guys, if you take sugars, make sure you only put 3 teaspoons of sugar, otherwise your teeth will get rotten. You don't want to be any up with some fillings at the dentist. Grab two straws and make sure you stir it very carefully or else you will be ended up spilling on the worktop. Now for a bonus. So if you want to make it more nicer than McDonald's, you can put some whipped cream on top and add, so and add the sauce of your choice. I'll put some maple syrup on top of the cream. So there you have it, that's how you make the frappe. If you want some extras, you can add squirt cream and things like that. Yeah. Now I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy this frappe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.